Will you use the radioactive waste from a nuclear power plant to fuel your smartphone, or will you let it power your electric vehicle? Numerous battery materials have been evaluated, but there is a new battery material that has the entire industry in shock. It is a nuclear diamond battery with a 28,000-year operating life. This new battery, what is it? How does it function? Why is it a hot topic right now? Hey folks, welcome back to the future space. In this video, we are going to find out about the new nuclear diamond battery created by scientists, and let's dive in. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. And let's begin! It's obvious that a modern gadgetry would be incomplete without a modest battery. Batteries are used in anything from pacemakers to smartwatches and electric cars that require electricity but cannot always be linked to a power source. As a result, the battery sector has recently become one of the most competitive, with numerous companies vying to develop the best battery on the market. Because of the radiation that radioactive materials emit, many individuals recoil at the mention of them. It is conceivable, however, that nuclear fuel waste could serve as a future power source for nuclear reactors. The widespread use of lithium-ion batteries has surely aided the development of electronic devices, but there are several important limitations that have prompted scientists to continue their search for better batteries. Nuclear power is considered a clean source of energy because it doesn't release carbon dioxide. However, it does produce a lot of dangerous radioactive waste that is hard to treat and get rid of. At this time, a group of scientists may have discovered a method for dealing with nuclear wastes that have the potential to significantly alter the battery technology that we are currently familiar with. Researchers from the University of Bristol, including physicists and chemists, initiated the development of what is now known as radioactive diamond batteries in the year 2016. They demonstrated their creation in the form of a beta-voltaic device, which means that it is powered by the beta disintegration of radioactive waste. When there are too many particles in the nucleus of an atom, some of them will be released in order to create a more stable ratio of protons to neutrons. Beta decay is the name given to this particular phenomenon. As a consequence of this, a form of ionizing radiation known as beta radiation is produced. Beta radiation is characterized by the presence of multiple beta particles, which are also referred to as electrons or positrons with high velocities and energies. Semiconductors are often placed in the middle of a beta voltaic cell, which is then covered in a thin layer of radioactive material on either side. The nuclear material will give out beta particles as it decays, and these beta particles will knock electrons out of the semiconductor, which will result in an electric current. On the other hand, the power density of the radioactive source diminishes with increasing distance from the semiconductor. As a direct consequence of this, nuclear batteries are far less effective than other forms of conventional batteries. In this context, the polycrystalline diamond, also known as PCD, comes into play. The production of fake diamonds and radioactive batteries both frequently make use of a technique known as chemical vapor deposition, or CVD. Researchers have modified the process of producing radioactive diamonds by combining radioactive methane with the radioactive isotope carbon-14 which can be found on irradiated reactor graphite blocks. This new method results in radioactive diamonds with enhanced properties. Diamonds like these have the ability to both emit radiation and conduct electricity. A battery will not need to be charged as frequently and will live longer when it is exposed to beta radiation. Because the radioactive waste contained within it provides it with an endless supply of power, it is able to charge itself for a very long time with very little or no discernible change taking place. In theory, a single battery can be utilized without needing to be replaced or recharged for more than a thousand years. At the time, the battery was only a functional prototype that could not be installed in laptops or mobile devices of any kind. Because it does not produce a significant amount of power, it can only be used for relatively small devices that do not require a significant amount of electricity. Researchers are currently working on developing technology that will assist them in building and maintaining the innovation so that it may be utilized commercially on a widespread scale. An English company called Arkenlight is in the process of putting on the market a radioactive diamond battery that was invented in Bristol. The company's first product, a micro battery that can be used in pacemakers and sensors, should be on the market by the end of 2023. How these nuclear diamond batteries are better than ordinary lithium-ion batteries? In electric vehicles, 
the low energy density of lithium-ion batteries is more obvious than ever. When it comes to range, lithium-ion batteries are heavy, but they fall short of gas-powered vehicles in terms of tank capacity, which makes some people reluctant to accept electric automobiles. The charging period for lithium-ion batteries is similarly lengthy. To recharge the battery, you might have to sit still for nearly an hour. In comparison to filling the tank of an ice car's gas tank, which takes mere minutes, even with the fastest charger, this is not optimal. For electric automobiles, batteries are still the most expensive component. In fact, they cost substantially more than ice-powered rivals and are therefore out of reach for most car owners, even if their prices have decreased significantly. The duration of time they last are another problem with lithium batteries. All lithium-ion batteries are susceptible to degradation, which results in a capacity reduction over time. Batteries, lossless batteries, and a lot more types are included. Nuclear diamond batteries, on the other hand, are not guaranteed to last forever. They're batteries that can last for millennia and are good for the environment at the same time. In that instance, the battery will outlast the phone. Can 28,000 years of battery power be achieved? A diamond battery lasts forever, just like its name says. It works for more than 20,000 years, which is about 28,000 years. It is made from radioactive waste. More than 30 lock tons of this rubbish are lying around the world, doing nothing but cluttering up landfills and the environment. However, if used to manufacture diamond batteries, they can be put to good use. Can this battery help us in space? What the CEO of NDB says about it? The CEO of NDB, Nima Gol Sharifi, says that the small size of the nano diamond battery cells is a benefit for scaling. For example, a small NDB cell can power a wristwatch, which uses about 2 microwatts. But if you need to power something else, you can add more stack cells to meet the need. Gol Sharifi says that the nuclear diamond battery could power satellites and other vehicles in space. The Voyagers, two famous NASA probes that were launched in 1977 and don't use much power, are a great example. They were powered by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators that each put out more than 1,000 watts. Each generator started out with only 158 watts of power, which is less than what is needed to power a light fixture in a home for a year. After decades in space, the Voyagers are slowly losing power, so NASA has been turning off parts of them to keep them running as long as possible. They might not last another 10 years, and then we will never hear from them again. But if they have nuclear diamond batteries, they can run for what seems like forever. Here on Earth, electronic devices that are implanted in the body only need to be put there once. When the batteries die, there is no need to have surgery to replace them. There are things like hearing aids in this category. Elon Musk's Neuralink device that will work with the brain can also be made to use nuclear diamond batteries. This means that for its first commercial product, the batteries will not need to be charged as often. The NDB plans to make a smartwatch that will come out sometime in 2022. If that really happens, you could have one watch with a single battery and pass it down for generations without ever having to buy a new one. We understand that NDB isn't telling us everything about its nuclear diamond batteries just yet. We haven't heard anything about, say, the power density. But for now, what's most important is that the nuclear diamond batteries are not just a dream. They are actually things that we will soon be using. Also, this is a good way to use nuclear waste for the environment. In the comments section below, tell us what you think about nuclear diamond batteries. And that's for today's video. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give it a like and share it with your friends and family. Let us know if you have any questions or comments in the section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. You can also watch our other videos that have been specially selected for you. Look forward to seeing you in our next video.